Hi everyone, this is Guillaume with Tuna Sojo Engineering. Today we are at Hellfest and it's day four. So you can probably hear it in my voice that it's been pretty tiring. And during those four days, we actually exhibited the result of our little journey that you have seen in the first four videos about how to make a DIY genome system. So the genome system, and you can see it here, I wanted to make it look like an ant. So we asked our friends from Invaders Ants to give us an amp head, a refurb that that amp head was supposed to be destroyed because I wanted to be able to reuse uh, materials as much as possible. That's the only luxury part of the, of the project. So our friend Gael actually made us days before the show that awesome handle. You have the usual controls you will find on an amp like gain, volume, tone stack. We added the possibility to switch on and off some parameters such as uh, the gate on off or a compressor or FX blocks so we can just defeat entire FX blocks within genome and ultimately what's in there is only the products we've shown in the previous videos which are an audio interface our MIDI SEM32 controller that is re recognized by the system and that's pretty much it there is one thing that we didn't, we didn't know or that we forgot to think about is we are here at Hellfest in a tent. And it's incredibly hot in here. Uh, I believe yesterday the temperature were, was closing on 45 Celsius. It was impossibly hot and humid here. So we, have, we had to add uh, another fan. So the, it was fanless. I wanted to make it fanless, but we realized that our tiny computer didn't do very well with very high temperatures. So we added a very, a very powerful uh, little fan, actually the same fan that we have in the Captor X. And uh, we run it at max speed, but honestly, I don't know if you can notice the noise level here. That's not an issue. But we ended up with a system that is perfectly capable of going on stage or playing at home. I should mention, so here we have, of course, the genome amp, but to make it easier to explain to visitors what we do with that, uh, we added a big TV screen where you, everybody can see the controls and understand what we are uh, presenting these days. I also have a keyboard and a mouse because when I want to, let's say, edit, um, edit a preset or make some quick changes, it's still faster than turning a knob. So on the screen, we can see all controls and it's very practical. Also, we have people using just headphones. We have an headphones amplifier. I decided not to put any uh, power amp into the box. We just go direct from the audio interface output into a mixer and a, P a tiny PA that we use for the demo. So it's really close to something you could do on stage if you have your own monitors and don't need a guitar cabinet next to you. I hope you liked our little journey uh, with uh, that genome DIY project. Of course, if you have questions about the cost of those things, the budget, all of that is very, uh, uh, it's, it's not that expensive, but still, audio interface plus computer, plus the knobs, plus a lot of controls, you realize that building your own uh, mother at home is still way above a thousand dollars or euros and that explains why when you have those products especially the high-end stuff and that's what we tried to do we tried to do here well it's it's incredibly expensive but i'm sure you can build one that will fit your budget and i'll be here if you have any question go into the comments subscribe to the channel and i see you soon